Well, it looks like the government has stepped up and taken action. And I got to tell you, it's uh, amazing uh, how fast they actually did this on a Sunday because I thought that everybody was keeping banking hours, but apparently not. And this was a uh, quick update. Looks like there was a joint statement by the Department of the Treasury, Federal Reserve, and the FDIC. Somehow they're able to get together and figure things out uh, lightning quick. Right now it is, uh, it is Sunday, uh, March 12th, and this just came out probably about an hour ago. I thought I'd just throw this up there, give everybody a little bit of a sigh of relief, but who knows if we have more damage ahead. However, the good news is that Secretary of the Treasury Janet Yellen, Federal Reserve Board Chair Jerome Powell, FDIC Chairman Martin Gruenberg said this, Today we are taking decisive actions to protect the U.S. economy by strengthening public confidence in our banking system. We continue to perform its vital roles of protecting deposits and providing access to credit households and businesses in a manner that promotes strong and sustainable economic growth. Secretary Yellen approached actions in enabling the FDIC to complete its resolution of Silicon Valley Bank in a manner that fully protects all depositors. Depositors will have access to all of their money starting Monday, March 13th, tomorrow. Let me read that again. Depositors, all of them, will have access to all of their funds starting tomorrow. No losses associated with the resolution of Silicon Valley Bank will be borne by the taxpayer. We are announcing a similar systemic risk exception for Signature Bank. If you haven't, uh, didn't hear, uh, the same thing happened with Signature Bank just tonight. The government overtook it and said, uh, we've got problems here. And the same thing that happened with uh, Silicon Valley Bank is essentially what happened to Signature Bank. Now, Signature Bank is a little bit more heavy on the crypto side. And Silicon Valley Bank was more for VCs and funding and those types of things. So uh, these two banks, it looks like, are going to be made whole. Again, similar systemic risk associated with Signature Bank. All deposits of this institution will be made whole with the resolution of Silicon Bank, no losses will be borne. Now, there is one caveat, and this I think is, uh, is fair. Shareholders and certain unsecured debt holders will not be protected. Senior management has also been removed. What this means is shareholders, anybody that holds, of course, anybody that owns any kind of stock for these two places, uh, they will not be protected. If everything goes to zero, like I believe that Silicon Valley Bank uh, dropped over 66%, uh, you're seeing that uh, they will not be protected. And management, which whatever, however much they had taken out before, uh, they will not be protected for their salaries or whatever else they have taken out. And lastly, the Federal Reserve Board on Sunday announced it will make available additional funding to eligible depository institutions to help assure banks have the ability to meet all the needs of all the depositors. What this means is this. They know that there are probably more banks that are about to collapse. There are about to have more people make a run in those banks. And they say, you know what? No big deal. We're here to help bail you out or to make everything work within the FDIC and to provide those funds so that your depositors can all be whole when those runs in the banks actually occur. Now, I don't know if they can do this for every single bank out there, but I got to tell you, I am uh, quite shocked at the speed and the resolution of which these three governmental agencies acted. So that's it. A quick update tonight. Uh, I think that uh, will hopefully help people rest a little bit easier and uh, maybe have a better Monday. So that's it for tonight. Uh, like the video, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, thanks so much for stopping by, and I'll see you guys on the next one.